Your book is all about production techniques which are effectively waste-free. How does that work? Uh, our book is not talking about waste-free because when you talk about waste-free, you still think about waste. We are talking about everything being nutrition, everything either good for the biosphere or for the technosphere. And therefore, we are not too many people on this planet because all our material flows go back into cycles. And then we could be even 20 billion people because then everybody could get the nutrients back again. Can you apply these cradle-to-cradle -cradle frameworks universally or are there any specific cases where they won't apply? Look, when you have a TV set, we find in a TV set 4,360 4, different chemicals. You cannot make a TV set without toxic stuff. But these toxic materials, like the copper, like the molybdenum, like the chromium, are, on the other hand, valuable nutrients going back into the technosphere. So you can really make everything different to be good instead of less bad. So it works everywhere, because the human spe species are the only ones who make waste. All the others don't make waste. So couldn't we be as intelligent as the others as well? How quickly do you think that we can extend cradle-to-cradle -cradle techniques around the world? Basically, in the Netherlands you can see there are thousands of scientists in DSM, in ACTSO, in Philips, who already do cradle-to-cradle -cradle research. And uh, I'm very optimistic when you see that the government here announces cradle-to-cradle -cradle as a future design principle. If hundreds of architects and engineers now do cradle-to-cradle, -cradle, if the leading engineering office all do cradle-to-cradle, -cradle, if all the big uh, developing projects, whether it's Almere, whether it's Maastricht, whether it's, uh, it's uh, Floriade in the south, where they all go into cradle to cradle, then I'm very optimistic. So if I wanted to look at cradle to cradle in action, where would be the place to go to see some of the best examples? Oh, you just can go if you want to find big examples on what is we doing in Philips, what is do, been, uh, done in Van Ganswinkel in Desso. Desso, the second largest maker of carpets yeah, in Van Houten, making paper at completely differently in OSE, yeah, looking at, at copy machines and, and printers. Yeah, you can see it all over the country. There are hundreds of companies and thousands of scientists yeah, in DSM, in ACTSO, because now you don't wake up in the morning and you don't apologize anymore that you're on this planet to say, hey, it's nice I'm here yeah, and I can do something good. And people in Philips or at ACTSO, they sit they are, they are working over the weekend. Yeah? They call me in the middle of the night and, and, and on a Sunday and said, look, uh, we have a new chemical which can uh, make the chain length of plastic much longer in a recycling process. So it's no longer downcycling, it's an upcycling. Yeah? They call in the middle of the night and they're completely proud of what they do. And this is what we do. We celebrate human creativity and we learn from nature at the same time. Very good. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You.